Hi everyone, welcome back to Busy Being a Mom. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Jennifer and my mission is to inspire you to be happy, live full, and love life. As we are approaching a new year, 2018, I know many of us are excited, looking forward to setting new goals, looking forward to trying new things, and overall feeling good about the experiences and achievements that we anticipate in the new year. However, sometimes at this time of year, we can also find ourselves looking back at the goals we set for this year. And maybe we set some goals and we met those goals above and beyond. And maybe some of them, we barely hit them. And others, maybe we didn't meet them. Maybe we didn't come close to them at all. Maybe we even forgot about them. And sometimes if we stay in that place of dwelling on the goals that we did not meet, it can leave us feeling a little down. And so if that is you, I just want to come on and offer you some transparent encouragement today because I set some goals this year that I did not meet. I set some goals that I did meet, but I set some goals, some big goals did I, that I did not meet. And as I reflected upon 2017, I thought, what did I do this year? Where did the time go? I really feel like the year just flew by. And as I began to reflect and look a little deeper, I realized that there were some goals that I met that weren't goals that I set. I learned some valuable lessons this year, particularly about myself and I definitely feel stronger as a woman, stronger as a wife, and stronger as a mother going into the new year. I didn't necessarily set that goal. I have a vision board, and I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this video. But I had a vision for what I wanted to see in 2017 as far as um, being a wife and a mother and also individual goals and home goals and personal style goals and a lot of those things I met but my big 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 goals that to me were big goals that I set for myself I did not meet however as I reflect those important goals that I did uh, well not goals because I didn't set them as goals but those things that I learned and the growth that I experienced this year I believe will help me to meet those goals in the upcoming year. And I was feeling a little down about that until I was able to look at it from a broader perspective and understanding that I can't always put everything in a nice perfect box or put a perfect little time stamp. For some of the things that we want to see happen in our lives, some of the things that we want to achieve, we can't go into those things or receive those things as we are. And so before we're able to actually fully walk in them, we have to experience personal growth. And I do feel as though I know that I have grown personally this year. And my anticipation is that that growth will translate into my meeting the goals that I have set for myself that I will be carrying over into January 1st with me and hopefully meeting those goals in 2018. So I hope that my openness and willingness to share my experiences has somehow helped you. That is always my mission. My goal is to share what I experienced, share what I learned to help other moms and help other women out there who may be facing the same things that I face and experience in my life. So thank you so much for watching. Have a happy, happy, blessed day. Be happy, live full, love life, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.